Hey everybody, it's Jade on Piano, where we make music make sense. As you can see, I'm in my car today, and I wanted to show you an app that I use that helps me out, and, the, and it is called Piano Companion Pro. And oft, the most often way that I use it is either the chord dictionary or the scales dictionary, but usually it's the scales dictionary. So I'm gonna choose that. So you can see how I use that um, to help me with my research more so than anything else. But you can use it to practice with as well. There's a lot of stuff in this app. There's a free version and a paid version. I have the pro, which is the paid version. And so you see this right here. So it's got a chord library. It's showing you uh, scales that are in the key of C. If I scroll, you know, you can see all these different scales, right? So let me just hit the blues one. It hit, it plays the scale automatically, right? So I'm gonna go back. That's the, the C scale, but the way, or C blue scale. The way that I use this is this, by keys and it does a reverse lookup. So if I choose a root, I can choose a root, I'm gonna choose E flat. Now I can play the keys, play the notes that are in the scale. So if I come across a chord or I come across a melody that's in a song and it's like, okay, what what are we really doing with all of these notes, right? So let me go here. I'm just gonna play some notes. Let me start with the E flat, okay? And let's play some notes here. Now, as you see, as I play it, it, it um, limits or begins to filter out choices and that's by keys well I happen to have played the low Korean scale and if I choose it it's gonna do the same same thing before it's gonna play the scale right and after we play the scale look down here you can choose the octave right about in the middle of that scale would be or right about in the middle of the piano you know that mid-range is uh, the octave, or sorry, four. So the octave is four. But um, if you want all of those features, it's in the paid version, and the whole app is only like, I think it was $7.99. It was $4.99 or $7.99. I don't remember right now because I've had it a while. But so down here, common chords, E flat diminished. That says F flat major because, which is an E chord, E major chord, because we've already used the letter name E for a chord on the E flat. So we need an F letter chord. That's the, what we would think of as E, but it's F flat in this context. So we've got F flat major, G flat minor is the three, A flat minor is the four. Um, that says six is C flat minor or C flat major, and then seven uh, is the D flat minor. It did not show us a five chord because if we look at the notes that are in this key one, two, three, four, that would be the five. And look, it's we know five is supposed to be dominant, so even if we were to somehow play in this key, we would need all of that but the next right that's what we would need for five but because like i said the key itself is very oddly placed it really is an e major uh type scale that starts on the seven it's not showing us a five chord but it does show us some common chords that's in that key now we scroll on down, it says relative. Well, D flat natural minor, uh, C sharp melodic minor, C sharp natural minor. Um, these are matches that go right along with this. B major has an 88% match because it shares a lot of common tones. Um, C flat is the same as B, so obviously it's 88%. So it's showing you scales that use the exact same notes and then it's showing you scales that so the modes would have the exact same notes and then it's showing you scales that are closely related like i said b major e melodic minor and so you see these 88 percent matches down in here so i could choose like let me choose it choose the c sharp melodic minor to, to i thought it was going to take me to the key but i guess not i thought i used to do that anyway you can see here 
um, there's a lot of good stuff here. Right in here in the middle, it's showing you the fingerings of the scales, left hand and the right hand. And so you've, you've got quite a bit of information here. The scale tones, the degree of separation is up at the top, then the play panel, then the chords, then the keys. And like I said, I can play on the keys and it's going to give me the, uh, the sound of those notes right there. But then it's also giving me uh, keys and, and uh, keys that are related, scales that are related to its particular scale. So I like this because when I'm trying to figure out um, what I need to play or something like that, or, or when I'm researching a scale because I see some notes in a song, it's like, okay, now I see why that makes sense. And then I can relate it to some of these other keys because I'm looking at the relative keys. Well, if I can do something in XYZ key, I can do it in that other key. So I like that reverse lookup um, a whole lot. But then you see, I can go ahead and if I want to, I went to B flat. It's gonna show me the chords that are in B flat locrian now because I changed the root note. And so then you can see the common chords in that key and the closely related chords in that key. And then you just kind of go on from there. So I really like that uh, reverse lookup by keys instead of name. But if you saw that by name, let's go back. Look at this. I'm just scrolling. They're in alphabetical order. I'm scrolling. I'm in the M's now. I'm. It's still got scales. Let's just... Let's just choose something random. Messy in mode. Let's see what this is. That looks like a whole tone scale. See that? Yeah, that's a whole tone scale. It's giving me some fingering choices down here, like we did before, and the common chords. And there are no relative chords or keys, so it's not giving us any of that. But it's giving us the... the tones up there so you know I'm in the M's let's choose something else random Miyako Bushi okay so that's not a scale that uses our seven tone system but it's giving us a scale nevertheless it could be from another country which is really cool to learn some eight note scales and some patterns and giving you some common chords here it uses an augmented chord we don't see that often. Uh, augmented chords are not uh, diatonic to the scales we use, um, which is, you know, that's totally okay. But here's a scale we're just randomly looking at. We could look at that in any key. Um, you know, keep going, keep going. We're in the Q's, They're, you know, R's. Let's see, can we get the Z? We're in the R's, still in the R's. There's a lot of R's. I mean, so there's tons of, okay, here we go. There are some Z's, Zang, let's see what this is. Looks like Zang is, is that a pentatonic scale? I think it is. So whatever country that comes from, that's a pentatonic scale. And we have that, and so it's giving us our common to chords. And then <clears throat> it's giving us our relative <clears throat> our relative uh, scales down here and our relative scales are pentatonic scales so as you can see you know it's going through thousands I won't hundreds I'll say hundreds because that was a pretty long list but that's my favorite thing about this app I'm gonna go back out further uh, you know there's the chord dictionary if you need to know your order of your chords or things like that something like the diminished it's showing you the inversions right here. See that? Oh, it's not letting me, it won't let me play the inversions, but it is showing me the inversions. Okay. Um, you know, all these chords have a root of C. And so if you're those, one of those people that needs to understand all of your uh, chords that and the notes that come with them in root position you could come up with your voicings and stuff like that just by looking at that but if you want to again build a chord I 
picture lights up. So it's showing me a C9. I didn't play the G in the chord, but it's still a C9. It could also be a um, C9 flat five because I didn't play a uh, fifth in there at all. So it's giving me choices of what that could be with those notes in the chord, okay? Let's, let's listen to A minor 13. That would be wild, right? So, you know, you got your reverse chord look up with that. Um, I did the circle of fifths a while ago. It's on the C. Uh, there's the D. How about... That's the minor chords on the inner circle there. We talked about the circle of fifths. Um, it has chord progressions. I don't use this very much because I use chord progressions um, that relate to the melody more than anything um, and also to the number system specifically. It's going to be one of those two things when I'm using any type of chord progressions. So there's that. Um, it's got, it says courses. That's showing you it's, it's attached to someone's YouTube page. So we've got that as well. A uh, little lesson on note values, rest, tempo, all those great things. So as you can see, you know, we've got a lot, there's a lot to offer in this app. But I just kind of wanted to show you what I use it for. Like I said, most often it's for the scales dictionary. Now if you're out and about, it also has this piano keyboard. Um, and if I need to, if I need to play something, and I need the key before I get to the piano, this would be great for that. Just put it up to, up to your ear and you're ready to go. So we got this app, <clears throat> check it out, Piano Companion Pro. I have it on, this is an Android, but I also have it on my iPad. So I know it comes on iOS as well. And you can use it to really beef up your scales. Beef up a lot of things, but like I said, I use it for scales. So you guys take care and I will talk to you later.